Yes. Well, we move on here, and we're still talking field hockey as we welcome in the senior midfielder who actually just moved to forward, which is what my understanding. We welcome in Ali Dulce. Ali, thanks so much for thanks joining for us here on BU nice All Access. Well, I guess that kind of starts us off. We'll, we'll talk to about 30 years in a second because I know that's an interesting number for you as well. But 2009 it's a lot longer than Ali's been around, I, by I the know, way. I yeah. know. That's, that's where I was getting to that. But <laughs> 2009 midfielder of the year, and now you're moving to the forward spot. How's that transition been going, and what are you looking forward to this season with it? Well, it's been a, um, a long transition for me. You know, I started out um, playing there a little bit last fall and then kept playing there a lot in the spring. So kind of still getting the feel for it. Uh, still working on a few things, but it's been great. <laughs> it's fun to play up there. It's different, but you get the glory of the scoring. That's so. right. <laughs> I'm glad That's right. You got a chance at the headlines. Yeah. And BU All Access appearances. Yeah. Well, I think the headlines you've been in, you know, obviously one of five Terriers to start all 22 games. As I mentioned, the 2009 Midfielder of the Year led the team in points with eight goals and 12 assists on, as part of the all-championship team, logging six points in one game, two goals and two assists. Do you remember that game? Uh, yeah, yeah. It was, it was cold, so I remember. I was freezing. I remember bundling up, but... No, it was a great game. Well, we're here at the ComEd Fair. This is where we're doing our first show. And I know I looked on your bio, you're a human physiology major. And it was my understanding, at least this was from what I heard, is that one of the, uh, one of the colleges were bringing skeletons out in front of their building <laughs> as the way to in, in hand entice people to come in. I, I, out of curiosity, <laughs> as a human physiology major, do you guys find fun just playing with skeletons? Or does that creep you out a little bit? Um, I mean, I, I didn't see the skeletons outside, but um, <laughs> I am taking gross anatomy this semester. I don't know. I'm looking forward to that. Anything oh, with okay. gross in the title is a bad <laughs> idea. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not really, a, not something to really turn you on. Yeah, no go. kidding. It's tough <laughs> to sit through that one. Well, <laughs> well, I guess we can talk now. I guess more about more sports issues. You big Little League World Series fan by chance? Um, I'm a Red Sox fan, right? Well, there's not much to talk about there right now. Well, I guess we can go on if to field hockey. Excuse my pun to the Yankee fan <laughs> from uh, from Long Island. <laughs> yeah, I'm a Red Sox fan. Oh, okay, good, good. Well, let's let's continue talking field hockey then. It's something I we guess we got them surrounded. Basically. One, yeah. one out of the, yeah. I don't feel safe right now. This is gross anatomy for me. Uh, <laughs> we just got finished talking with Coach Sally Starr about her 30th season and now being one of the seniors uh, on this team. What do you think of 30 years for anybody? It's a long time. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. I have to say, um, I know everybody on our team has a lot of respect for Sally. She really, she knows the game. She's coached a lot. She's seen a lot. So um, we know we're in good hands when she puts a game plan out. We know it's a good one to follow, and we're just really confident in her. Now, last year, the, the way the season ended, an overtime loss to Stanford in the NCAA playing game, after that game, what were your kind of expectations that you set forth then and how have they compared to the same ones you've set as you've had time to think about and started this season? Um, definitely right after the game we all knew that like we could go further and we knew that like t uh, Stanford played Princeton right after and we knew we could have given them a great run for their money so we're really disappointed that we didn't get that chance to go further but looking forward to the season we've been saying all along like definitely make it into NCAAs make it uh, a good run and we think we can do it. What do you feel was, you know, uh, what points were you guys trying to emphasize in order to get to that point again? Well, we obviously started right after season. We've been working hard all the way through, um, especially summer, uh, getting on it, doing it yourself, getting mm -hmm. things done, lots of um, fitness. So it's hard, but <laughs> 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 got to do what we got to do. Again, in your senior year, a terrific, very challenging non-league schedule. You get a chance to really play some of the best programs in the country. I definitely think that our non-league games um, are what prepare us for conference. Because mm -hmm. as Sally said, like our conference is just getting stronger and stronger every year. So we really need to um, be on our game for when we get to conference. Talk about the first two games of the season. Obviously, sometimes you know teams grow all the way through the season. But the way this season started with two nice victories, a shutout over Hofstra, and that 2-1 big-time <laughs> win over VCU as yeah. well, uh, does that make you even more anxious or excited for the way this season's going to go? Absolutely. Um, coming off of last season when we went 0-2 for our first two games, it was a little bit of a slap in the face, I guess. <laughs> but uh, it definitely feels great to start the season out 2-0. and um, And we're really looking forward to playing Providence on Friday. Well, now I know I won't ask. I never ask this to a coach because they'll just give me the coach's answer, which is every game is important. But what, as a player, is there a game that you've circled on the schedule as one that's either most important to you or the one that you're really looking forward to playing? 
for me, conference is, like, most important. I think that, and like I said, like, we build up to that point. And so, like, just taking it game at a time, though, focus on everyone because we got to get all those wins in place before we get to the conference. That's Future coach. I, she's <laughs> definitely been listening to Sally Starr for the last four years. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you think of the Com Avs fair so far? I've obviously been in part getting able to walk down the streets. What have you thought of uh, yeah, this new event? It's great. I'm going to have to go try that game out over there. Bernie right? and I were going to yeah? compete. All yeah. right, I'll take you on. All right, okay. maybe we will do that afterwards as well. But you okay, have practice, Allie. don't you? Uh, we got some film in a little while, but I still got time. All right, right? maybe okay. we'll do that then. That Fair sounds enough. good. Well, uh, Allie, we appreciate you taking some time with us, and uh, we'll talk to you after this weekend. You got a fun weekend ahead yeah, of you. Yeah, definitely. Yep. We have Providence on Friday, and then on Sunday we're playing UMass in our breast cancer game. So home we have opener. Pink jerseys. Yep, home opener. We're really excited. Come out and support your Terriers, yes, right? Absolutely. That's right, Allie. Thanks so much for thanks joining for us, me. Allie. That's Allie Dulce joining us here on BU All Access. The Terriers will try to keep their winning streak alive when they head to Providence, Rhode Island to take on the Friars Friday night at 7 p.m. And then again Sunday, the first home game of the season against UMass at 1 p.m. That is Breast Cancer Awareness Day.